Hello guys, welcome back again. I'm MJ. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade or download or install Windows 10 to Windows 11 without data loss and without using any USB or CD. Okay, so watch this video very carefully and watch this video till the end. So first thing is you need to download the ISO file. Open any browser, open the Google. In the Google, just type Windows 11 download and open this first link this is the official link of microsoft so open this first link and you will get this off page so here is scroll down you need to download the iso file but before this you need to check your pc language or laptop language so for this go to start and setting i click on times and language and here click on language so the windows language is english united states okay so this is my language and here in the iso file uh, select the windows 11 multi edition iso and click on confirm uh, now select the language here so select the your current language as i showed my current language was english united so select the exact language and then confirm and now click on 64 bit download and save this iso file after iso file download complete you will get on the file this iso file just right click on it and click on mount so here a folder will open and you need to just copy this all file okay so select all and do the copy okay copy the all file and now go to your c drive go to this pc and go to c drive and here make the same file what i'm making here just right click and click on new and click a folder so give the folder name exactly what i'm doing here like win lay one okay and open this folder paste all paste the all files okay done so we have folder on the C drive by name of win lay one so now the thing is uh, go to start and here type cmd a command prompt will open here just right click on it and select run as administrator okay and here you need to type this command I have given this command on my video description link so just copy this command actually this is a path of file what we have created on the c drive this is a path of file okay like c drive windows 11 setup exe okay so just hit enter after you paste this command and wait for a while so it is showing install windows server don't be confused here it will install windows 11 okay and then click next now you can close this uh, command prompt and it will take some time to get the download and updates so wait here okay now we got the setup dialog box just select accept and here is the very important thing so we are not going to delete any app setting and file so this option must be selected keep files setting and apps okay so if you want to don't lose any data from your pc then select it okay if you have any confusion or doubt then take the backup okay so if you by mistake delete something or lost your data then don't blame on me okay so if you have any doubt take the backup but the best thing is select this option key file setting and apps okay so this will not delete anything from your pc okay select it and next and it will start to install windows lay one so remember one thing uh, when this setup is going on you can minimize this window and you can use your pc as normal but don't close this window okay don't close this window just minimize it and keep it working so it will take some time to download and install okay just wait here so finally we got this screen ready to install just click on install and your PC might be restart several times so then don't be panic okay 
just sit back relax so as we can see here windows play one installation is going on it's showing installing windows server but this is not a server this is a windows play one okay so let you to complete it so your pc may be restart several time so don't be panic just sit back relax and don't turn off your laptop or pc okay don't press any button of your laptop okay let you to complete 100 percent and let you to restart it okay until that don't disturb your pc or laptop Okay, done. Finally, we got the uh, desktop home screen with Windows 11. And as you can see here, nothing is uh, deleted. Even my desktop file, apps, and setting is as it is. So, I will show you my version, current version here. Setting. Okay. System. And here in the above so look at that windows 11 pro version is 24 h2 so i have successfully upgraded windows 11 on unsupported pc or laptop okay so now just close it i don't want to give any location access and that's it so if some driver is missing or need to upgrade then upgrade the drivers okay and after you complete installation, if you want, you can delete this ISO file, okay. And also, uh, from C drive, you can delete your Win folder, yeah, this one. If you want, you can delete it. Because we have completed the installation, so if you want, you can delete this both file. Now, my PC is working fine, look at that, yeah. So, this is how you can upgrade windows 11 from windows 10 without losing any data without using any usb or dvd so thanks for watching guys catch you next time please like share and subscribe thank you very much guys